building code for the shoreline, tougher standards for the utility companies. Those are among the recommendations of the governor's two-storm committee in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Irene back in August and the autumn nor'easter in late October. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live in our Hartford newsroom this midday with the details on what steps are being recommended and what action the governor may take in the very near future. Good afternoon, Mark. Hi, Keith. Good afternoon, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Over the past two months, this very special select committee has been hearing from first responders, the utility companies, all kinds of experts, and has come up with 82 specific recommendations. Uh, this morning, the Committee of Community and Business Leaders held their final meeting and approved their final report and presented it to Governor Malloy. Among those is a recommendation that the utility companies be held to some sort of standards for the amount of time it takes to get the lights back on and the consideration of some sort of fine, as is done in Massachusetts, if those standards are not met. The report calls for more cooperation with the towns on tree trimming, something we've heard a lot about in the past couple of months, and standards for backup power for wireless tower sites, because so many people are now depending on them as their primary source of communication, and a recommendation that the entire power line system must be hardened as soon as possible. CLNP has said it would cost over $2 billion to make the system 30 to 40 percent stronger. That would mean at least a 10 percent hike in your CLNP bill. Will the public be willing to support an increase in their monthly bill in exchange for an increase in the resiliency or the strength of the system? That's the great public debate. Because of climate change, uh, we simply have to expect uh, more hard weather uh, and uh, it happening more frequently. And because of rising sea levels in Long Island Sound, this committee is recommending that new building codes be developed for communities along the shoreline that would deal with uh, homes as well as sewer plants and the infrastructure and drainage and things like that, and that they be in place within the next six months. The governor says he plans to make recommendations to the legislature and possibly executive orders in the aftermath of this big report, which they're digesting at the governor's office now, sometime later this week. We, of course, will have a lot more on it coming up tonight, starting at 5. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.